welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ambria Janae, and today I'm just gonna be showing you guys my go-to makeup routine. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post, make sure you click the post notifications bell. Now let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, when I'm doing my makeup, I always use a toner after I wash my face and the toner I'm going to be using today is just going to be this Equate Witch Hazel and I'm just going to use these cotton rounds right here. I got like two. I'm going to see if those work well. I washed my face when I got out of the shower or when I was in the shower. Now I'm just toning it before I actually do my makeup on screen. And I've read somewhere a few years ago that Witch Hazel is a really good toner just because it's like an astringent but like more of a natural one and it's good at like closing the pores and I feel like whenever I do it in my day to day my skin looks brighter and it just feels more, I don't know, like it just seals everything in basically and it's like a nice base for starting your makeup. Let me drag my hair with it. Usually I do two cotton pads, but I did just wash my face like 10 minutes ago, so it's not super dirty. I think I'm just gonna do one and I'm gonna let that sit for maybe like five more seconds. And then I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and my primer. Okay, so it's pretty much dry. I feel it like tingling a little like over here and like kind of under my eyes. So while that's still drying, I just wanted to give you guys like a full before of my face. So this is it. And that's the right. And this is the left. So this is the before. And now that my face is dry, I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer for sensitive skin. It's an older bottle, so don't judge how bad it looks, but this is it. And this is the back. And then I'm also going to mix that with my let me put the top back on with my elf power grip primer this is a really good primer it like makes everything it like makes the makeup like stick really well but this is it comes in this bottle and the, oh my god this like top doesn't want to stay on but this is the pack so usually what i do when i'm doing my makeup is i'll take i'll show you guys i do like a one, two, kind of like two, and then a small pump. And then with my moisturizer, I'll do like one. I might have to buy some more. It's kind of stuck. A little much. Okay, I do about that much. And I usually just mix it together. And then I go in. And I make sure it gets on my whole face. Eyebrows too, on my eyelids. Basically anywhere I'm gonna put makeup on. And because I have very sensitive and acne prone skin, I usually do blend it down to my neck, my makeup, just so it's like fuller coverage because I do have acne right now. I had my period not too long ago. Um, when I have my period, I've noticed my acne is more hormonal, which I guess makes sense. Um, I'm sure it's like that for a lot of people. But right now, my biggest areas, my biggest problem areas are always like my forehead. I have some stuff here, it's pretty textured. And then like my chin, and like kind of where my chin meets my neck. And then sometimes like the sides of my face. But I've noticed like with concealer and a lot of like blending, most of that gets hidden. The only thing is you see texture and more and more with like watching TikToks and like social media, I'm trying to get more comfortable with the texture of my skin because texture is normal. They just don't normalize it. But yeah, my makeup I've noticed when it's like dry and everything, 
it does have texture but it is like a nice base and this is kind of like when i do my instagram pictures or i'm going out or anything this is kind of my go-to makeup for that so i would say this primer and this moisturizer, they're a good solid base or a foundation for the rest of my makeup. So I want to preface all of this makeup routine by just saying this is like what I personally do. I'm not saying this is how you guys have to do it. This is kind of just like when I was younger and I was learning how to do makeup, I only was allowed to use a few products at a time. And then over the years, as like I got more stuff, watched more videos, this is kind of just like what I picked up on. But yeah, I just want to say like, obviously you'll probably see that my techniques might not be like makeup artist level or anything like that. They just work for me. And this is kind of what I just do when I need to do my makeup really fast or I just need a nice clean like simple base so yeah I just wanted to make sure I inserted this in just so you guys know there's a good chance I might use like a product weird or how people don't normally use it but it works for me and it gets the job done so yeah so the first thing I always do with my makeup is I'll do my eyebrows and I'm just gonna use this eyebrow spoolie it's just a basic one. I think I ordered off Shein, like in a set of stuff, um, like a set of makeup brushes. But I'm just gonna first go in and brush these. I would say I got pretty like blessed in the eyebrow department because I honestly feel like when I put the products on, you guys will see in a second, I don't really do anything special to alter them. They're gonna look just like this, just a little cleaner around the edges, I guess. So I kind of feel like I could get away with not doing them. It's just when I'm doing my base makeup, this is kind of just like, I like feeling like there's product on them, I guess. And I feel like it looks a little cleaner, but the brow, oh, I guess this is a brow mascara. I always thought it was like a brow gel. The brow mascara, I use is the Maybelline Brow Drama and it's a sculpting brow mascara and I use it in the color deep brown and this is it let me try to get that to focus there we go I've had this for a while too so that's why it's coming up a bit that's it so what I usually do comes let me put that down it comes in a thing like this kind of like a mascara wand so I guess that's why it's called a brow mascara but I just go in I always do my left brow first and I'm right-handed so I try to use my dominant hand as best as I can and my mirror is a little far so it might look a little oh my god I'm already messing up okay I will say my makeup routine the whole vibe is very much trust the process because there are definitely moments where I give ghosts, I give hee hee Michael Jackson, I give everything, even like with my mess ups. It's like, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But it all comes together, I promise. So left eyebrow is done. Actually, I have a hand mirror right here. It's this. Oh, that's my little setup. Say hey. Um, but yeah, let me just look. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna use it for this next part to make my life a little easier. So what I always do is I always do a dip like this. Let me not get my whole closet in here. I do, I do a dip like that. And then I usually will just, same thing I do with my mascara is I'll just like clean up the sides like that. And then let me use the mirror. And I always like to go over it with the spoolie once again. Just make sure it's clean. And then I always clean it up with concealer too, but it's just nice to know that like the brush helps it stay in shape. So that is done. So my next step to doing my eyebrows is I carve them out with concealer and I blend it. Um, and what I'm gonna be using for concealer for my whole face today is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L900, also known as Classic Beige. And this is what the bottle looks like. Focus, there we go. This is it. 
I'm not sure if I said this earlier, but I'm gonna try to link all of the makeup I used in the description box below. I'll also try to like show it slowly like I just did this and everything else. Just so if you guys wanted to see like certain products work, you can get them yourself. Most of this stuff you can find at like a drugstore or like a grocery store like Walmart, Target, or you go to Ulta or Sephora. But yeah, this step is basically me just carving out the brow. I'm gonna use my mirror again, just so I can get it clean. I need to get myself together because that wasn't supposed to happen, but it's fine because I need makeup there anyway, so that's why I'm gonna flip it like this. I just go and then basically put a layer up top like that. It doesn't have to be super pretty. Kind of just needs to cover the top. I feel like the bottom matters a little bit more. But I really not like that and I don't mind using this much concealer on my eyebrow because I feel like I use makeup on my forehead to cover my acne and it helps cover like the darkness of my eyes because they're naturally dark and I don't sleep a lot. So my eyes are just always darker than they should be. So I feel like I don't mind it, but I just go in and then I use this beauty blender. It's a little dirty, but this is the one I use right now. And I just pat, let me switch hands. I am not a lefty. Every time I try to be a lefty, it doesn't work. Or ambidextrous, is that how you say it? Ambidextrous, I think so. Try to not block the camera. Yeah, I just drag it in my eye just a little. Because when I have like excess product, I'll put it on my eye too, just so you don't get those. Like how this eye has the veins and then the sides kind of covered now. Because even though I don't really do eye makeup like that, I just kind of like it to have more of a uniform color. So that way, like, the veins don't take away from the whole thing. And then with above the eyebrow, I usually put like a triangle of concealer here after my brows are done. Anyway, just to brighten up my forehead. And that's kind of how I start to let it cover up my acne. Like for example, I have acne here. So I'll take this and I'll drag it out. But I can see it like this. Just to make sure it's clean. Yeah, most big people I've seen that I've watched like makeup tutorials with, they preach blending. So that's something I will follow suit with. I feel like when in doubt with makeup, you should always blend. So like even with my eyebrows, when I feel like, okay, it's probably like pretty much it. I always do like a few extra ones. That's what this is. Just to make sure it's like nice. But yeah, that's one done. This one's not done. This one has the product on it, so I guess it's half done. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and then I will come back for the next step. So something I am in the middle of doing the other eyebrow right now, but something I wanted to just come on and show you guys is like, for example, I have a bunch of like excess concealer up top. I did a little too much. I thought I cleared off the brush that it comes with. I don't know what you call that, like the applicator brush. That's what it is. I had a little too much product, so... I just brought it up here to my forehead. I had like some dark spots up here and I know I could color correct. I just don't feel super comfortable color correcting so I don't do it that much. But yeah, I just wanted to show you and then I have this set right here. So I'm just putting it on there. This is when I kind of start giving hee hee. That's why I gave you guys a disclaimer. So I do try to put as much concealer on my problem areas that I can and I do like my eyebrows to look very crisp. So that's why I, I do have my mirror so. That's why I do this method because all this extra product on my beauty blender, I just basically take it and make sure it gets in there good. And then once I'm done, which I think this one is, I just like to go over, brush it in, and like I said, when in doubt, blend, blend, blend. Yeah, this is my eyebrows. So they're all done. My forehead is basically almost entirely covered in concealer, but a lot of uh, the dark spots are going away. So that's good. And because I washed my face too, I use African black soap to wash my face. I feel like that really does help with my acne. But the eyebrows are done. My forehead would usually be my next step. Basically, after priming my face and then doing my eyebrows, step three is gonna be doing concealer 
concealer on my acne and then on certain key areas of my face to brighten it sidebar I, I just wanted to show you guys my mug I was talking to my boyfriend earlier and I was like I'm gonna get this mug in this video some way somehow it's getting in the video but I got this mug it's really cute from Ross the other day and I was so surprised this is a big mug I don't know if you guys can tell but this mug is huge and it was four dollars at Ross so it was a great steal yeah I love it because it's like green which is my favorite color and it just says something corny and cute it says love grows here but I feel like it's very pretty and it's my vibe so I just wanted to show me using it I've been very excited about this mug for like a few days now but getting back into it so yeah the next steps would just be going back in with the covergirl concealer and i do all the key areas of my face so i do like the line here and then on the i guess this is the bridge of your nose yeah i do that and then i'll blend that in and then where do i want to go next i guess i could do my under eyes i've seen that like the uk girlies like when they do their stuff they'll do like some here and they keep this part done not done empty and then they'll do up here and i've done that before i don't know i feel like i just end up blending in the middle anyway and so i feel like why not just cover it so i just go like old school and i do that and i try to get that whole area and then i do the same thing on the other side but for me i know like the trick to getting fuller coverage for makeup is to like let it sit but i feel like i don't know for me when i do my makeup i don't like it to sit for a long time and i don't know if that's bad or not but i don't like yeah, I'm just going in, patting it to death. And I don't really pat in any direction specifically, but I've heard it's good to pat your products up to give you that like natural facelift. So I guess I'll do that. Yeah, I'm just trying to snatch it, I guess. I don't know. See, I'm trying to, it's not like I know terms, but I just do this. Let me check in the mirror. It's like I'm half because I have a handheld mirror right here, but then behind the camera or whatever, like behind the camera, I guess, I have like my ring light and I have my other mirror right here. So it's like I'm doing a mix of looking at myself, but this is like different from how I normally do it. So bear with me y'all. If at any moment I look a little crazy, I promise you it will come together. I promise it always does. And my makeup eats. I'm sorry, it does. I need my nose to stop running. I hate when, comment down below if you guys hate this too, but I hate after you do makeup, like mascara, or you start doing your nose stuff, and then that part like itches, and then it's like, you can't scratch it. Like right now, this nostril is itching, and it's like, I'm already doing my makeup, so it's like, why would you pick this time to start acting up? I don't know. I feel like it's because like maybe your brain knows you can't do anything, but it's so irritating. It's like every time I do my makeup without fail, my nose will start itching, and then it's like, okay well i can scratch it every now and again like i have been doing but if i scratch the shit out of it like i want to i'm gonna mess my makeup up and we can't have that but then i feel like with this a runny nose which i always have it's very irritating i've had them since i was a kid it like will run in my makeup so it's like it's a lose lose situation and it's annoying so something I've been noticing when I do my nose, I've seen like more and more videos on TikTok about it. Apparently, like when you do nose, like what I just did would be good with like nose contour here and here because then it gives you that snatch nose contour. But I've never contoured ever and I want to learn, but I'm just nervous. Like learning new things sometimes is not it. I'm sorry. Like it's maybe it's just me being lazy, but I feel like hate when I learn something new and I'm not automatically good at it. That's an ick I have about myself. But I'm like that. Like, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Well, I am. But you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I've always been like that. But it's like with contour, I feel like I want to get into it because I feel like everybody does it. But then I also feel like, do I need it? But then I feel like when you go down that road, you can also end up saying like, well, do you need concealer? Do you need foundation? I know some YouTubers don't use foundation, period, because they feel like it looks cakey, but I feel like I use it. I feel like it just, everybody's makeup is different, 
and I understand that. I just want to learn more steps because the way my makeup journey has been, I would just like learn with some steps every now and again. Like I think for a long time, when I was in middle school, I was only allowed to use like powder and mascara and that's all I knew. So for years, I didn't know how to do concealer. I didn't know how to do foundation. And then eventually I started like learning what I wanted to. That's the thing about me. I kind of just have to like get my head wrapped around things and like not build it up so much. And then I could do it no problem. But when I started doing that, I feel like I started to find this little routine and I really started to like it. So I feel like if I just learned about contour, maybe I would feel less intimidated by it. But I just feel like for right now, I'm almost to that point, but not yet. But I mean, if you guys use contour, comment down below which like brand you use. Cause I know you can use, that's the thing too with makeup. You can literally use like lipstick as blush. You can use eyeshadow as blush. You can use eyeshadow as your eyebrow gel. You can use all these different products for all these different things. So it's like that overwhelms me too. And yeah, I don't know. But anyway, ugh, my legs falling asleep. Comment down below what contour you guys use, if any, like what brand and just tips and tricks to help a girl out. Cause I eventually do want to have my face beat to the gods, like literally. And I feel like I do a good job. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna discredit myself like that. But is my makeup as good as it can be? No, oh, I'm still learning, but I want to learn faster because I want, I feel like by the end of 2023, and this is me holding myself accountable. I feel like by the end of 2023, I want my makeup to just go soft glam and full glam at the drop of a dime. I feel like I want to be able to do it fast. I want it to look clean. I want it to look cute, but I just want to be able to do all the tips and tricks and just have them in my arsenal, you know, like if I want to do it. So that way I can have like this go-to, but then full glam, then soft glam, then, you know, like different types of makeup. Cause I feel like if I had that, I might be willing to do my makeup a little bit more and I feel like I do get excited to play in makeup but I'd be more excited if I like had more ways to do it more options that's what I was trying to say more options yeah I feel like that would help okay so now that my under eyes are done I put some more on my lid like I said when I have like extra that's just where I put it because I feel like my lids aren't gonna look cake either. If anything, they're just gonna look more uniform. But yeah, I have my forehead, I have my under eyes, I have my nose. Normally what I'll do is when my face is clear, I'll do like a little thing here. But since I have all this like chin acne, I'm just gonna cover the whole thing up just so I have more peace of mind about it, I guess. And I've learned with my makeup, obviously less is more, but I feel like if I just cover like the one dot and not a little bit of the area surrounding it, it's not gonna give me the coverage that I need. I do like a little more. And some of this isn't even acne, which is irritating. It's just like dark spots from previous breakouts that are still there. I'm gonna do all of my chin and then I usually have problems like here. So I'm just gonna do that and then do a little like line right there. This is gonna be the next part of everything that I blend. But I would say this concealer is very good with like coverage. It like completely takes away those dark spots and it just makes me feel like my makeup, like my acne really isn't coming through because I'm not super insecure about it anymore, but I used to be and I feel like concealer was a godsend once I learned about it. Cause now it's like, yes, I have this chin acne. Yes, you'll see the texture still coming through, but at least you can't see the discoloration in my skin. At least you can't see like, at least it doesn't like draw all of your attention to it. Oh, excuse the concealer, that's gonna start happening. Usually I like do this, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then same thing with when I do my eyebrows and like my under eyes and I put it on my eyelid. I kind of do that with my upper lip too, just to hide like my peach fuzz and just give like my whole mouth that same coverage so it's nice. It's giving very casket sharp right now, sadly. Oh, I hate looking at myself when it's just the concealer because they make it does me dirty. But I promise it's gonna come together. It's gonna come together.
I'm working with too. All this pattern. Look in the mirror. So all that's left now is just I'm gonna put a little bit, like kind of right here, just a little bit, because why not? And I feel like the rest of the face is pretty much together with the acne being covered right up. I always say too, like for me, the longest parts of this whole makeup routine would be the eyebrows and using, oh that was not a little bit, now I'm lying, my bad, I meant to always use a little bit, but you know, that'll get the job done too, it's fine. But um, like I was saying, the eyebrows and the like acne covering up with the concealer, those are like the longest parts of this routine. And I feel like once that's done, the rest of my routine gets done in like 10, 15 minutes, like no cap. And when I'm in a rush, I can do this whole routine in like 20 minutes. And that's with my hands like this the whole time. And obviously I'm recording a video, so it's gonna be longer than 20 minutes, sadly. But in real time, I've got, I've like mastered this routine where I can get it done in like 15, 20 minutes. So it's good when I'm running late, which a lot of times I am. But this is my face. Concealer is all done in the places that I need it. And this is how it's looking. So next I'm gonna get into, oh, I'm gonna get into foundation next. I have two different foundations that I use, but the one that I use for like winter when my skin lightens up, I use the Maybelline Fit Me matte plus poreless normal to oily foundation in the shade 310 which is sun beige but this is what the bottle looks like and then the i don't know how to there we go that's the shade i'm just gonna go in with that i do foundation on my whole face but since i use so much concealer i try not to be super heavy-handed with foundation and i just take that same beauty blender from earlier and this bottle i wish this bottle had like a applicator but sadly it doesn't and i usually just go in with about that much each time and i kind of just work what is this clockwise on my face i just do those dots i do like dots so it's like easier to focus on like i said you get to blending i've used a few different brands of foundation but i feel like i really do like this one because i feels like i feel like it gives me a great amount of coverage it's really good for when my skin is broken out it hides everything and i just feel like foundation adds something to a look in my opinion i feel like it's how i get my skin to give skin with makeup if that makes sense because i pretty much always had acne prone skin since like middle school and genetically i think my parents had it and then it stopped in their 20s so i'm kind of just waiting for that to happen to me child but i'm 21 and it still happens it happens a lot less i will say but i still break out all the time if i'm not consistent with my skincare routine if i eat bad food literally anything can make me break out it's very aggravating but that's always been my skin so it's whatever i definitely like this foundation because so i feel like it works for my sensitive ass skin it's nice but the forehead is done so i just go in and i usually just do that same amount for each section if it's like a small section i do less but i try to like really make this foundation stretch because i don't want to give cakey and i'm just shaking it again like i said because the bottle doesn't have an applicator in this sinks to the bottom so fast and I hate it. But yeah, usually I go to the right side next. Let me tuck my hair and I'll go in like this. Do those dots. Look at the color. And I'm not exactly sure if this is my right color. I feel like it's really close if it's not. I just blend. I try to blend going up if that makes sense. Because I feel like. Er, oh, sorry. Y'all can't see that. It makes it. Let me bring it up again. It just makes it look 
more vlogs and automatically as soon as i put foundation on it immediately makes me stop looking like a ghost and i love it for that reason so i do try to buy like a lighter shade foundation not a foundation a lighter concealer i keep losing my train of thought it's, it's getting on my nerves at this point but i do try to use like a lighter concealer so that way i do give the brightened effect but it's like one or two shades lighter than me but yeah i just keep blending and blending and blending that is this whole routine i just blend the fuck out of my face and i keep blending and that's what makes this routine take so much time sometimes or used to because when i was first starting to do makeup i was unaware on how to like blend fast i couldn't i couldn't do that i had to and like really i was too focused on that and now i realize i can blend a lot faster it's just been hard for me to do my makeup fast and record this because it's like i'm trying to think of things to say i'm just trying to interact with y'all too so it's like it's harder but for the lower half this is one of those situations where i'll like try to drag it out but i'll that i like to just overly blend too i don't know if you can't overly blend i don't know if that's a thing but i just feel like it's better to blend a shit ton more than you think you need to because it's like who wants to have patchy spots on their face you know what i mean so i just blend it out like that something i love about this foundation too it really does start to like this is the side i have done now it really does make it start to look more like skin see the glow already and i don't know if that's because i have moisturizer on or what i don't know the science behind like all of the makeup but i love how it starts to slowly come together i forgot i didn't get up here so let me add some color up there let me check it out yes okay so i'm gonna going so now for the left side we do the same thing and i think i might just speed this part up because now you guys kind of get the gist of what i'm doing I had got a lot more product than I need, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it out, like I was saying. And this could basically do like the whole left side. I'm just going with a little more, make sure about that much. And I like it too when I'm doing the bottom parts of my face to just blend down so it's not so harsh. Get the left half of my chin, and then with a little bit more, I could on top of my mouth and then my nose pretty much and i like to get in between my eyebrows a little bit so it looks a little more cohesive i guess and something i do constantly while i'm doing makeup is i really try to just make sure i'm looking at like the whole picture seeing if i missed anything seeing if anything just doesn't feel right if any not feel right girl it's not that serious and see if anything doesn't look like it's fully blended type thing but yeah now i'm just gonna do my neck a little bit and i do this too just in case like if pictures give me flashback or something my neck and my face aren't two different colors even though this is pretty close i just do a few drops and then i just connect it because sometimes too i'll get like acne on my neck from wearing makeup and stuff and i feel like blending it down just makes it feel like my makeup isn't disconnected if that makes sense let me let y'all i know period and now all of that is blended Time to go to the next step. So, oh, actually, let me keep my hair tucked. Oh, it's dry, sorry. Next. I like to go in with powder, and you guys have already kind of seen the brush. This is my powder brush. I think this brush might actually be meant for blush, but I don't use it for that. I use it for powder. And the powder I'm going to be using is the Bare Minerals Original. Oh, girl, no. This is, this is like the first powder I ever started using, so I just have used it this whole time. But I think this is a powder foundation. It says Bare Minerals Original Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Medium Tan. I've always just used this as a powder, and it works for me as a powder. I guess it's a powder foundation, though, so I'm putting on two different types of foundation. Did not realize that. Um, I've just always used it but let me show you the bottle or the package so the outside looks like and this is the back we only get it there we go this is what i use i usually just take the stuff that falls in here i'm gonna use it because i don't like too much a little goes along with this like genuinely but i just take my brush and i dip it a little and then 
I usually tap off the extra excess and then I just take it around my face and I just blend in like a circular motion. And if you guys haven't picked up already, what I try to do for my whole face is I basically just work in sections for the whole thing. I feel like it keeps it more organized. It helps I don't forget steps. And it's just, I don't know, I just like it. I guess you could work like all of it at once, but I just like to go section by section on my face. So that way nothing is forgotten because I went through a phase like a year or two where I do makeup. And every single time I did my makeup, I would forget a step. And it was very irritating because you could definitely tell. And a lot of times, I don't wear makeup when I go to work. I don't wear makeup just day to day. I wear makeup more on special occasions. And 2023, I want to change that. I want to start wearing makeup just to wear makeup. Like, I feel like you don't need a reason to wear it. And I've kind of like made it be like that. Like, I kind of only do it when I'm going out and I want to do it. Because sometimes going out, I won't even do it. It has to be like a special, special occasion. But it doesn't need to be like that this year. It's gonna be all about like stepping out of my comfort zone and just playing more makeup and like learning about it because I feel like I have a nice face for it and if I can like achieve certain looks that would be nice you know but yeah I basically I do a little over my eyes just to give them a little color after all the concealer and I just go over my face fully like that. I actually like to make sure it's all the way covered so it's nice and uniform. And then I ran out of this in here so what I do in that situation, I try to get as much as I can but since I want my neck to match, I will dip it in here but then I get all that. So then what I'll do, I don't want too much because if I did too much, I would show you right now, but sometimes I can't bring it back. So I'm not gonna risk all of this time. So I set up, but I'll just go and I just tap it all off basically. So now there's some in here. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some in there. And then I only have a little bit. I still have quite a bit on there, so. I just do like this. Powder is done. So after I get done with my powder, I go in with my blush and I use this brush from the same set. And this is the brush I use for blush. Let me see if I think so. Oh, there's still have a product in there. Damn. Okay. This is just a lazy Rick and Morty shirt, so I don't care about it getting super dirty. I usually am not super messy though, so I'm not worried about that. But I went with this brush. The blush that I always use is by Milani, and I use it in shade 8, which is Tea Rose, and it's a powder blush. And this is what it looks like on the outside. It looks kind of like brown in there too, because I usually do this after my powder, and I go in a few times, so it gets dirty. And this is the back. So I'm just gonna go in with that and I usually just open it like so and then I'll like dust it, I get the thing coated and I try not to be super heavy with blush but it's like blush is so pretty so it's hard to not go overboard. I'm trying to not do that but I will just like smile and then I do it on, I guess they call it the apples of your cheeks which usually get more prominent when you smile so I'll go. But yeah, I'll do about that much and I try to have it go up so that way it doesn't pull my face down and I try to just not have it look like clown makeup if that makes sense. I'll go in again and I don't really know where I've learned all these tips and tricks just like watching stuff and like saying random TikToks, random reels. Picking up on things. I kind of just vibe when I do my makeup. Sometimes it looks better than others, and in those moments I wish I knew what I was doing because it's like, damn, you know? But yeah, sometimes, which I'm gonna do right now, I'll like do like a little on my nose so it gives it a little nice healthy glow. Because I do highlighter too, and I feel like that looks nice. So yeah, let me put this way. After I get done with my blush, I go in with my highlighter and I use this brush. I honestly don't know what this brush was meant for. I like to use it for my highlighter because I feel like I like the bluntness of it, but this is what it looks like. 
It's just simple. I think it came in the set that my eyebrow spoolie did. I have like two sets of makeup brushes, like the pink and purple white ones. And then I have like this rose gold and black one, but I use this highlighter brush or I call it a highlighter brush. I don't know if it is. And then for my highlight, I was just about to put it on. Let me show y'all. It's the e.l.f. highlighter and it is in the color blush gems. It's like really small, like on a sticker on the back. So I'm thinking that's the shade. I just got this from like a grocery store one day. Super cheap and it works really well. I like it, but this is the shade. Oh, that was upside down. Let me. But I do that and then let me get it open. I just go in with the brush and I do a few little swirls and then a lot of excess product will go in here so i do that too and i do highlighter here a line here kind of where i did the concealer i do it above my blush on both sides and i used to do it in my inner corners but over time i just haven't liked how that looks but i just go in and i do my bridge i do like a few not a few girls a lot i like put it up there and i like a healthy amount too because i want you to be able to see it you know what i mean i always blend it but if there's none on there there's nothing to blend i like to just make sure it's prominent like that and i'll just go in usually with like my middle finger and i'll like blot it in so it looks a little more natural but honestly I love a cute highlight. The like highlight is arguably my favorite part of my makeup. And it's very 2016. I feel like a lot of people nowadays don't do highlight, but I like how it looks. I feel like it really ties the look together. And it gives you that bright, just dropped it on the floor. I'm a mess, okay. It just gives it that bright quality is what I was trying to say. Next, I put it above my blush. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I kind of do it like so. And I try to do it like more fluid. I kind of just like pat it in and rub it. Because I never want it to look super harsh, you know? But I also want it to be there. So it's like a fine line. But I like to do it like that. And then I do the same thing on the side. So we get a little more. I keep trying to open this thing backwards. We do the same thing. The same circular motion one more time. And then I try to do this one just looking right here. Yeah, I just go in and I blend it again. And that gets it looking nice. And sometimes if I feel like I blended it too much like I did with that, I just go right back in with the brush and I just add it. Cause I feel like, you know what? I like highlights, so why not? But yeah, that's it. And all that's left is mascara. And then, you know what, let me not start that. And all that's left is this, 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 this. Cause then I'm gonna have a long ass list and it's like, I thought there were only a few steps. For mascara, I use the Maybelline. I'm just now realizing I use a lot of Maybelline. It's unintentional. I kind of just buy whatever looks cool or usually what's cheap at the store or just things I've used before that are tried and true. And I feel like I have a lot of Maybelline and I didn't let all that click until just now. <laughs> but I use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in the color Very Black. And it's just this bottle. This is at like every grocery store. It's this way. Sorry. This is at like every grocery store. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Ross. You can find it literally everywhere. Um, and it's always super cheap. That's why I like it. This is the mascara I've always this is Old Faithful when it comes to mascara for me since I was in middle school. It's just the first one I ever really used and I feel like it works really well for me and it's waterproof. So I like it. I mean, I do have another one. I do have this Too Faced Better Than Sex one, but when I've used that one, oh my God, it's like, like a war scene in a movie and it's like all of a sudden my face gets dirty and it's because I feel like this takes too long to dry and like I said a lot of the time when I'm doing the makeup I'm in a rush so I don't want to deal with that. I have the mascara and I don't always do this but just for the video I will. I have my little mess, my little, what's it called? My eyelash curler and it's in teal. I have like two of them. I'm just gonna go with this one and I'm gonna curl it looking up. I don't even know if that did anything. Let me use this. That always throws me off. And then while I'm here, I'll do the other eye. Let me tell y'all, me using this is growth. Cause when I was in middle school and I used to do my makeup, you couldn't pay me to use one of these, girl. I used to be scared with tear the whole thing of lashes out. And I barely even got lashes, they look. And I used to be scared that these little itty bitty lashes would disappear. 
if I use that. You could not pay me to use one. So I still get a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, just a little, but I'm proud whenever I do use that. Let me just go in and I'm gonna start with my left eye, but I just take it out, I do like a dip, and then I don't like a shit ton of mascara. Like I do I like it to be coated, but I don't want to be like spider lashes or anything like that. So I just go in like this. I'm playing, I, I forget I keep needing to use this, but you'll see okay i basically just coat the lashes i'll do like upward strokes and then i'll go like a little side to side and i've never been super great at doing mascara not gonna lie i pretty much always get like spots on my eyelid or underneath my eye so i probably will have to clean it up but that's okay it's very easy i almost got it on my nose i just do it like that and then i'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye another dip sorry if i look serious or over y'all doing mascara stresses me out because really sometimes there will be there have been so many times where like i'm doing my mascara and the look just eats like it's giving clean it's giving base it's giving soft glam i love it but then i fuck up on this and then i spend like 10 15 minutes fixing my shit and so this step stresses me out so yeah if i look over it it's because i kind of am because mascara you just never know how it's gonna go or at least i don't because it's not my best step so yeah let me just get this done i'm right-handed but the right eye is harder for me uh, like right Right there like right fucking there now i have a little underneath my eye and then it's just about i can fix that but it's still aggravating so i have a q-tip i'm just i'm gonna do my bottom lashes i don't dip it for this one because i feel like i don't really like a bottom lash that's heavy so with these i kind of just drag it I feel like with my bottom lashes, I just wanted to get a little color. Okay, so this is my full face. Obviously, I need to do touch-ups on my lips so I could clear off all this concealer and foundation, and then I need to clean up my eyes. But this is basically how it's gonna look. So my next step is I go in with my setting spray, and I use the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist, and it says it's up to 16 hours of wear, and I can attest to that. This works like crack. I love it. It's amazing. This is what it looks like. It comes in this bottle. I just got a small one from Walmart, I believe. And this is what it looks like. This is the back. So I just go in, I shake it a little, and then I just hold it, I just spray. usually i got some in my mouth i'm dumb I knew, I knew that would happen i just wasn't thinking but i don't usually do that much at one time because like i'll do multiple times but i feel like for the video i'll just do the whole amount i'll do right now but i usually will set it like once or twice because usually when i'm doing makeup i will be gone for a few hours so i want it to be good i don't want to have to carry this on me i usually will take it with me and like if i have a bag or whatever i will like reapply or whatever throughout the night but for the most part this is what i do i let it settle in i guess sometimes i'll do like the little waves and stuff so let me do that but i feel like this right here is really what brings it together because i feel like i like matte makeup but i also love when makeup looks dewy and i feel like in a way this gives me that in between that i like i need to get like a hand fan but for now this works i just like to make sure my face is dry and then i'll start getting like q-tips and I'll go in and I'll clean it. Well, I'll see what needs to be cleaned. And honestly, I didn't wanna show y'all on camera, but I usually just like lick it and just clean it up. I mean, it's my face, you know? I'm not sick or anything. I feel okay about doing that. I just didn't really wanna show that on screen. Go with my lips. I will outline it and get another one. I'm just using like some Dollar Tree cotton swabs, nothing special. And I just lick it to get it wet. And I basically car out my whole lip. I do use my saliva, so it does dry my lips out. So excuse them if they look crusty for a little bit. I will pull the gloss on in a bit. But yeah, I just try to make sure I get as much as I can because I usually use clear lip gloss. And I don't know if you've ever used it before. But when you use clear lip gloss and you have makeup on your lips, it kind of makes it not be clear. It kind of makes it like skin color, or at least for me. Like it'll make it concealer color, or foundation color and I want it clear. So I like to really make sure my lips are like clear. Especially too, like when I'm out and about, I don't have to worry about that. So I try to give myself a nice solid base for my lip gloss, if that makes sense. Let's be cleaning them up. And then usually by this point, my mascara has fully dried. So I'll go in and I'll try to look and see if there's like, what am I trying to say? 
if there's like oh any that like fell down here you know because i feel like that's not really a cute look sometimes i go in with saliva sometimes i don't but i just try to go in clean it up and then i'll go on my top lash line and i basically just clean up not the water line but you know what i mean like where eyeliner would go if i did any the only con to doing this and using like like wetting it is sometimes the concealer will separate underneath once there's water added to it and i don't know if there's any product i'm using that contributes to that i'm not exactly sure i haven't figured that out i try not to like use saliva under my eyes like if i don't have to if i can get it clean without that then that's cool but a lot of times like getting the swab wet is the only thing that's gonna get the excess product gone. Looks like I didn't fuck up too bad on the left eye, but it's cool. This is my final makeup look. So for my lip gloss, I always just use the one that you can find at every beauty supply girl. Like literally, I feel like the easiest places I've ever found it was at like a big beauty supply. They always have them there in like the packs by the front, by the register. But you, I got this one at Amazon because I just wanted a pack of them. And I just got like the different ones. But the one that I like the most is the Broadway Vita Lip Mint Oil one. And it's a lip gloss. It's clear and it's very stimulating if that makes sense. Like since it's minty, it has that fresh feeling, that fresh scent. This is what it looks like. It comes in this green and like clear packaging so it might be hard to focus but yeah this is what i use this is the back and i've had it for a while so that's why it looks a little janky highly recommend i feel like it's very cheap so it's very like inexpensive and it's just such a great clear lip gloss like i am such a clear lip gloss girl i love it and i feel like it ties makeup together so 10 out of 10 would recommend you should get some but i just go i get a little bit of gloss on the thing a little kind of goes a long way because it's a thicker gloss but i get some on my bottom lip and i spread it I kind of like to outline the top lip this so it goes in clean and yeah like that it took my look to a whole nother level and it just took like 30 seconds period and i just love how it makes my lips look since my lips are a little darker i just love makes it look like i have on like a color lip gloss and it's just clear this is like all me i'm feeling it and usually at this point this is when i will like fluff up my hair all i did when i got out the shower was putting some leave in and i parted it but for the sake of this I'm gonna fluff it out. This is not necessary to my makeup, but just why not? Because my hair is already pretty much dry. So fluffing it hair won't hurt nobody. It's giving, what's it giving? It's giving that girl. Let's just say that. This is the final look. It just eats, it just fucking eats, and I live for my makeup. So if you can't tell already, we've reached the end of the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. It was kind of nice to talk through in depth like my makeup tutorial, because this is dead ass what I do for like every Instagram picture. This right here, this is the look. And it's just nice to be able to show you guys in case you guys wanted to take some tips and tricks from it, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. It was really nice to do this video, kind of refreshing, and it was really fun. Like I had fun just getting on here and interacting with you guys. But yeah, if you liked this video, don't forget to like it, comment your favorite part or some tips and tricks, feedback that you want to give me, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to do that. And like I said at the beginning, if you want to be notified whenever I post, make sure you click the post notifications bell. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.